Thank you for tuning in. Today's video is going to be on how to operate a torque wrench and get it into that specified foot pounds of torque. So first and foremost, this is a Craftsman torque wrench. The reason why I'm using it today is because I got new tires and I'm looking to ensure that they're tightened to the correct foot pounds of torque. Now torque wrenches, it can be used from anything for brakes, suspensions, motors, and what they're going to do is ensure that uh, the bolt or nut is torqued to the specified foot-pounds of torque as called out on an owner's manual. So it's going to ensure that your nut or bolt isn't broken or damaged, uh, that you don't over-tight over and damage a thread, uh, that you don't leave your nut or bolt too loose, causing a, a failure in the field or something as simple as a wheel to fall off when you're driving down the road. So first and foremost, torque wrenches are calibrated instruments. There's actually a spring located in the torque wrench. So every now and then, it's good to have them calibrated. Now when I'm just storing my torque wrench, I'm ensuring it's stored in a dry, clean environment and it's torqued all the way down to the lowest setting so I can let that spring relax. So now I am going to tighten the tires on my 2019 Ram I found the specified torque uh, torque foot-pounds spec just by simply using Google. You can also find an owner's manual. Now this particular torque wrench is a Craftsman. Now you'll notice there's different types of units of measurements. So we have foot-pounds of torque, which I'm going to use. But there's also uh, Newton on here and meter. So you'll see those numbers. Uh, for the foot pound, so you'll see uh, 140, 120, 100, and then on the other side, you'll have your odds 150, 130. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first I'm gonna unlock the torque wrench. So, this is the lock and unlock feature. So, you're gonna lock it to lock in that torque spec when you're actually tightening your wheels, and then you're gonna unlock it when you're adjusting that torque wrench. These top numbers on the top end of the handle. That's if you want to spec in something like uh, 133, 131, 137, kind of an oddball number. Uh, but for myself, I'm going to need just 130. So what I'm going to do is torque this all the way up to the 130. So you can see right now it's, uh, it's around 40. So I'm going to keep spinning it clockwise until I hit that 130 mark. Now, once I'm hitting that 130 mark, I'm going to be mindful that I want it 130 even. So I'm going to have that zero line up with the center line to ensure I'm right on 130. Then I'm going to go ahead and lock it out. And this is going to ensure that my spec is set when I go to tighten the wheels. And then I'm simply going to tighten up those lug nuts. And when I hear a clicking noise, that's going to indicate to me that I've reached 100 foot pounds of torque, 130 foot pounds of torque on that nut or bolt. So hopefully you found this useful. Uh, torque wrench is a very important instrument to use to ensure that, you know, your wheels, your motor mounts, your suspension, your brakes are all torqued to the specified setting so they, so they work as they should. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Uh, if there's anything else you're looking to learn, please comment below on my channel. I'll be glad to help you out. Okay, now go get at it.